when I turned 50, all my friends of that age said, this is where it starts. This is where your body starts to break down. <laughs> you just have to roll with it and age gracefully. I laughed. At 50 years old, I was 200 pounds of solid muscle, and handsome in the way that most people could only dream about. <laughs> I knew that my body didn't have an odometer. There was no round number where my warranty would be voided. It turns out, I was wrong. <laughs> and in finding out that I was wrong, I would make a scientific discovery. <laughs> Madam Contest Chair, Madam Toastmaster, fellow Toastmasters, and anyone who's had one of those birthdays, <laughs> I turned 50 and absolutely nothing happened until I turned 52. That morning, I woke up, I went to work, and after my first pot of coffee, I notice people are looking at me. They're not making eye contact, and they're making funny faces. I rush to the restroom to see what could be wrong. I have ear hair. <laughs> Very curly ear hair. And it's out to here. I do what any self-respecting 52-year-old man would do. I check under the stall doors, and then I rip those suckers out. <laughs> the next morning, I check right away. They're out to here. And I trim them off with some scissors. The following day, I check again. They're out to here. And the scissors broke. My neighbor helped me out with a pair of hedge clippers. <laughs> Yesterday morning, I couldn't do it. I stayed in bed. I called in sick to work. But finally, I had to look. I went in, got in front of the mirror, opened my eyes, and they're back. And they're out to here. <laughs> and they're drooping. <laughs> I'd had enough. Screw aging gracefully. I've got technology on my side. I pull on a cap, tuck my ear hair up <laughs> onto it, and my phone tells me that Janie's hair removal mecca is just a mile away, and I run there in a minute flat. There's a bored young lady behind the counter. Can I help you, sir? I take off the cap. I let the hairs unfurl, <laughs> and... You know, droop. Eventually, she looks up. The blood drains from her face. Her eyes go wide. Right this way, sir. She drags me down the hall, straps me into a chair, looks at my ear closely and backs away. We're going to need a bigger laser. She rolls in a device that looks like something James, a James Bond villain would aim at 007. Plugs it into the wall, lights dim in a three-block radius. <laughs> she steps into a radiation hazard suit and hits the trigger. <laughs> when the smoke clears, she lets me loose and I reach up, and they're gone. And she promises me they will never return again. This morning I woke up, went in to see my nice clean ears, and that's when I made my scientific discovery. You see, growing older is governed by immutable laws, much like physics. And I had just discovered the law of the conservation of unwanted hair growth. You can stop it in one place. It's only going to pop up in another. This morning, my eyebrows were up to here. Thank you. Madam Toastmaster. <laughs>